Good morning. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today we celebrate the feast of St. Matthias, the Apostle. And our intention today is for Carl T. Bush and Nicomedes Pizarro, the deceased. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in, in the, the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people of good will. will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of the God and Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who assigned St. Matthias a place in the College of Apostles, grant us through his intercession that rejoicing at how your love has been allotted to us, we may merit to be numbered among the elect. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers and sisters. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Judas, Jesus. Judas was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, let his encampment become desolate and may no one dwell in it, and may another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time, the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Joseph called Balsabas, who was also known as Justus and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take the place in this apostolic ministry, from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the Lord fell upon Matthias, and he was counted with the eleven apostles. 
the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorium Psalm. Alleluia. Alleluia. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Alleluia. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations in the Lord, above the heavens in his glory. Alleluia. Who is like the Lord, our God, who is enthroned on him, on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? Alleluia. He raised up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill that he lifts up the poor, to sit them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, it says the Lord. Alleluia, yeah, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves, because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends, because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you, and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, today as we celebrate the Feast of St. Matthias, we come to acknowledge that uh, the ways God does things in our lives is completely different. We have come to know how powerful it is that when we are together as a community, as a family, the Holy Spirit always can come to our lives and make a difference in our journey of life. And that's what it happened for the 11 apostles with the other uh, members who prayed together for Matthias and his brother so that they can choose one of them to be among themselves in the group. The Apostle Matthias is chosen by the Holy Spirit to be one of the Apostles, taking the place of Judah Iscariot. We do not know much about Matthias, but we do know that he too was a long time follower of Jesus and he had been with the disciples for most of Jesus' ministry. He remained a devoted follower of Jesus even after his death. This is what makes Matthias and the other disciples different from Judas. Judas chooses not to accept Jesus' love and mercy. This is not just because Judas betrays Jesus. The other disciples, Peter especially, all abandoned Jesus in the hour of his greatest need. The difference is Judas does not return to make amends. He does not accept Jesus' mercy and love. The one central commandment that Jesus gives them in today's gospel, Jesus urged the disciples 
to remain in his love. And just hours later, they failed to do so. But they returned to that love time and time again. We, like, we are like Matthias and the other eleven are invited to remain in Jesus' love. We will fail to love Jesus and we will fail to love one another. But we know that we can return again and again to the cycle of love that Jesus offers. Even at this time of the pandemic, let us acknowledge that Jesus is with us. Even if we can make mistakes, even if we cannot uh, love one another, let us remember one after the hour, one after the time, God always can make a difference in our journey of life. Love one another, that is the key. The key for all of us to make a difference to change and to continue to be good ambassadors of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, as we continue to share our love and our commitment, I would like to thank you for your prayers. And also as we continue to prepare ourselves for the reopening, let us continue to strengthen one another to follow all the restrictions which we are supposed to do. But remember that as long as we love one another and support one another, always we can be successful. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your church, reverently presented to the feast of St. Matthias, and through them strengthen us by the power of your grace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is true, right and just, our uh, duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds and lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and the dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy there for these gifts, we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the you for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this, this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Barry our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Carl T. Bush and Nico Mendes Pizarro, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died on mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Will even reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Now let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present to the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. This is my commandment, love one another as I love you, says the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Never cease, O Lord, we pray, to fill your family with divine gifts, and through blessed Matthias' intercession for us, graciously admit us to a share in the Lord of the saints in light, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank you.